Okay, so here we are inside of True Coat. Um, this has been super helpful uh, ever since I started my practice. I think this has probably been the best way that I have figured out to do my home exercise programs. I think it is um, pretty universal as far as like whatever kind of practice you have, whether it's mobile, gym-based, home-based, telehealth. It's a really easy platform to learn. There's almost no learning curve and my patients have also really liked it. It's been really easy for them to follow uh, for a lot of different reasons. So I just wanted to show you the inside of this program to show you kind of how it works, how I use it. And yeah, just let me know what you think. So this is the homepage. This is like the dashboard um, inside of TrueCoach. And you can see like your like newsfeed, I guess, uh, right here in the center. And this is where you'll see like the most up-to-date information on what your clients have been doing with their programming. You can see this client is clicking off uh, their exercises and they're also able to leave comments here. And then I am also able to um, comment back as well um, and leave internal notes too on their exercises. And then over here on the left, you can see just like if you have any reminders, um, you can leave like notes for yourself to like pay attention to when this person is the doctor, say for example, when their next appointment is, when you want to start a new like part of their programming. So you can leave reminders for yourself. You can see who is supposed to be doing what workout today and get an update on that. That. You're also able to categorize, and I'll show you this in a second, whether you want to see updates from in-person, remote, dual. Um, these are all like my own like different groups of clients. And then over here on the right, what I do really like about this program is the fact that there are um, actual like compliance rates. So like an objective measure for compliance rather than um, having patients come in and I ask them if they did their exercises, they may or may not have done them. And you know, how often, whatever it is, like I can actually see week to week and day to day um, what my clients have been doing and um, if they were able to get to all their exercises or not. And um, at least for me, I usually try to tell my clients that I'm looking for like at least a 50% compliance rate. And of course, if they can do all of it, great, but I don't expect that. So it's also helpful for the client to know like where they stand with their exercises too. Um, and if they're following along with the plan. So it'll, True Coach will tell you oh, overall and like per patient, um, the seven day, 30 day and 90 day compliance rates, which is cool. You can see whatever clients you have, um, what program is uh, coming up that needs to be edited. And I'll show you this on the next page. And then the program will also show you like, you know, who hasn't gotten to their exercises in a little while and probably needs you to reach out to them um, and see what's going on. And so I'll show you the clients on the next page. Here is the active clients list. Um, there's also an archived clients list. And so within True Coach, they have different levels of um, like your subscription. So you pay based on how many clients you have. And one thing that I do really like that at least they've done for me in the past is like the first couple levels on the subscription, you could pay for either having five clients at a time or up to 20 clients at a time. But a lot of the time I'll have like 12. <laughs> and so I didn't want to pay all the way up to 20 clients when I didn't even really want 20 clients at a time. Um, and so I did reach out to them and asked if they had any plans that were anywhere in between. And they did give me a custom rate um, at one point. So if that is something that like you might be interested in, definitely reach out to them because they've been super helpful um, for me in the past. But anyway, so like you can always, uh, you can have like work with as many people as you want. And then the people who are in the archive list don't count towards your like uh, monthly like client count. It's only the active one. So a lot of times I'll have patients who um, are discharged and leave for a little bit. A new person comes in and then that, you know, new person is discharged and then somebody in the past come back to work with me. And all I have to do here is unarchive their program um, and everything is still there, which is really cool. Um, so I don't have to go like searching way, way back and try to figure it out and see what we did the last time that we worked together. 
And here you can see it like the patients or clients are listed out. The due date is like where their programming goes up until and I'll show you that in a second so that'll make a little bit more sense but it'll tell you you know like okay like these two people on Monday I need to update their programs and make sure that they have stuff for next week but these two people here um, I don't have to update uh, you know until later uh, this month and then you can see here their compliance rates compliance rate is not great right now <laughs> um, but I do have a few people who they will only mark off like one part of their exercises, but actually do all of it. So that is like one little downfall. Like sometimes the client actually follows through and checks everything off. Um, but at least it gives us a starting point and kind of like a ballpark of how active they've been um, on their exercise program. This is the grouping. This is where you label your clients. Um, so I'll label like what I'm working with them on, whether it's PT or fitness or wellness, and then like where they're from. So if they're specifically uh, gym clients um, from the gym that I'm going to, I'll label them that as well. Well, and in the messages feature, uh, you can like message one label of clients too. So if I had an announcement to make for people at the gym specifically, I wouldn't have to message every single person. And I would be able to just send out like one message to that entire label. And that's really helpful. So next I will show you the library. Okay. So this is the library and ever since I have used True Coach, they've continued to update the library and add new like exercise lists to it. And so they already have like a super in-depth exercise library, but you're also able to add your own. And you can also click like which, you know, like brand, I guess, or like company of exercises you want to see here. And you'll be able to see here on the side, like what company the exercises are from as well. I use a lot of the central athlete ones. Those are the ones that they had when I first started, but they also started adding in these other ones. And for example, like the USAW, um, if you're somebody who works with like weightlifters or crossfitters like I do, that could be really helpful as well. So huge long list. If I wanted to look up like a uh, hip abduction. I can type that in and I can see different exercises that I've added myself and then also the different exercises that like Central Athlete has along with a bunch of other data and information to help me choose different exercises. Um, inside each exercise there is a video with a YouTube link, there are instructions. Um, and every time that this is given out to one of your athletes, one of your clients that you're working with, they will see the video and see the instructions um, along with any like custom instructions that you have. So it's almost like with a click of a button, you can give out an entire program and a bunch of exercises but not have to like spend the time of like typing everything in for every single exercise every time. So this is super helpful. And this is also helpful when I know like what plane of motion I want my athlete to work in, or I know what muscle group I want them to work, but like for some reason that day, I am just not on my game <laughs> with coming up with exercises. And so having like this long list uh, library has been great, um, a really great resource. If you want to add an exercise, this is all you have to do. You put in the exercise name, put a link to a video, and you can upload your own video file. So I know sometimes I've had patients in the past, I will film them while we're together at their appointment, and I will film them and then upload the video here into the exercise library so that I'm able to put it on their program and they can see themselves doing the actual exercise and access the instructions at the same time. A lot of times I do put YouTube videos in here that I found with that specific exercise that I want. And you can also add in all this other information um, over here in the library. There's also a bunch of warm ups. So this is great if you are programming in not just rehab exercises, but actual like workouts for the people that you're working with, you can put a variety of different uh, warm ups into the library so that you don't have to keep like retyping them every single time. And the same with uh, cool downs as well. 
and then you can keep track of certain um, metric sets if you'd like. Um, you're able to do this for each of your clients and you're also able to upload different documents that all of your clients are then able to access from their true coach um, and that's been great too to be able to share information. The next part here is called programs. So you are able to, so here in the programs you are able to um, put together like a whole, I mean a whole like calendar or program of different things. So like I've used this, this is a beginner weightlifting program. There is a bunch of like pelvic floor stuff that I've done with clients. So like if I click into this, this one isn't necessarily like a program, like I wouldn't give this entire calendar to somebody, but it's sort of like a, a sub library of different, um, like workouts or sets of rehab exercises that I've given to clients. So if I am working with somebody who we are going to be doing like core and pelvic floor stuff, I can come into this like little sub library that I made and find the exercises that I am looking for and not again, like not have to like retype everything or um, come up with it from scratch every single time. So you can put a ton of stuff in here. And then I've also done like a, this was like more of like an actual program that I did before that I've had some people try out and like I've used this myself <laughs> for my own shoulder and it's a full program um, all put in here. And what I could do, like if I wanted somebody to go through this program specifically, I would just click on assign to client. I would add it to a certain client and figure out what day I want it to start and then click assign program and it would copy and paste all of this stuff straight into the client's profile. So super easy. And then you can always go in and take a look at each client's profile specifically and customize anything um, that you feel the need to. So I've made a ton of programs uh, over the years in here and it's like self mobilizations is one. Let's see, Kyle, our other PT, um, he's put together um, marathon and like running training. Um, so he's put those programs in here. There's hypertrophy programs. Oh, I've also used it as like a questionnaire um, and for scoring. So you can ask the patient to leave um, comments or leave like their actual score for things in True Code, and it will track it in the metrics section, um, which is really cool. So I've used this to just like put all of these things into the client program. And then every day you can set this so that every day the client gets an email with a reminder to work on their exercises so that, you know, you don't have to remind them and they don't have to remember themselves. Um, they can uh, just have the reminder there. It will also send out reminders and you can turn this off if you want, but it'll send out reminders if you don't do your workout. <laughs> um, then it will email you and tell you that you missed your exercises. So sometimes that is helpful uh, with compliance as well. But then just to show you like the inside, like what um, the inside of like a patient's uh, or client's profile might look like. Um, this is an example. So you can see like the red means that um, the exercises weren't done or at least like they weren't checked off. The green means they did them. And each exercise um, has of course like the name and then like I can type in like the actual like sets and reps that I want them to do. And let's see, then I'm also able to add a video to all of them. So all of the exercises have uh, both instructions and a video to go with it. And it's really easy to use this. Like if I wanted to like copy and paste from week to week, you just click the copy button and paste and then it pastes the entire thing. Um, and then I can always go in and edit the text that's here. Uh, so that's super cool. You can add goals here, which has been helpful in the past with programming. I can list out the goals right here in True Coach and make sure that their exercises are lining up with that. You can add nutrition. I want to say this will link with my fitness pal. I can't remember. I don't work on nutrition specifically with my client, but that's something that can be helpful. The metrics section is really cool. I'll see if I have another example of that potentially to show you, but you can decide on say like a, a lift that you want to track, like how much weight somebody is doing, or for some of the athletes I've worked with where we are working on 
doing like double unders without any, uh, without incontinence. And we'll keep track of the number of double unders that they do. And over time, you'll see the graph go up with the number of double unders that they can do. And that's really cool for the patient to see. And of course, like for us to track objective measures, um, but it is really good in keeping the client motivated. Um, so it's nice that you can keep track of that in there. Any limitations that they have, you can take notes on that in here. Other notes potentially, you can plan. So like I can add a skeleton and say, you know, like have like chest day, legs day, back day, whatever. Or I could say like, I want this person to work on their hips this day, work on their shoulder this day, and it will label out Monday through Sunday what needs to be done that day. So then when it comes to actually like programming the exercises, I can see what the day is labeled as and make sure that our plan um, corresponds. Progress pictures, uh, equipment, helpful. Um, if my client is going to be mainly doing their exercises at home, I can keep a list of the equipment that they have available here. And I think, yeah, you can also add pictures if you want to. So that is, I'm like typing my exercises in over here. I can refer to the equipment list. If you are tracking weight, you can search for things um, and then keep track of anything that is client specific. You can charge clients through True Coach. I don't. Um, I charge everything like through Stripe. That's just easier for me. But if you wanted to set up products or subscriptions, like if you wanted to sell um, programs in here, you could. Or referrals. This is awesome. Um, you're able to share this uh, program with other people why I'm doing the video because I really love uh, True Coach and it's been super helpful for my practice. So they do have a referral program and then Teams. So in Teams, um, you can have other uh, like other therapists or other trainers on your account and then you can assign clients to the different trainers and the different professionals so that they don't just have to be like under yours. And this is also how you can see like who's with who and you can see the compliance rate depending on the different um, professional. Um, down here, you'll see all your notifications and then there is also just a message center so you can direct message all of your clients in here as well. So anyway, um, that is the inside of True Coach. Um, I hope this was helpful to see. And if there's anything that you uh, have specific questions on, or you're wondering if you are able to do a certain function, or you want me to test anything out, please just leave a comment down below. And don't forget to look for my referral link. Um, if this is something that you are interested in, and I forget what the thing said. Ooh, fancy. You can earn up to $1,000. Oh, the coach you refer will also get paid. There it is. I was wondering, I couldn't remember like how much um, would go towards you like if you did use my referral link. But I think you, you do get like something off, um, I think, of potentially your first month. They've changed it since I started using this program um, in 2019. So anyway, super cool. Really helpful. Um and hopefully this was helpful for you to see. So let me know any questions or comments and I'll see you on the next one.